Good evening. So that last video cut off. I apologize. I was trying to log in. People are stupid, man. This kid is like, what is it? Geo Metro. It says Geo Metro right on it, right? And then he didn't even take the time to look and just Google it. He obviously had a curiosity. He's like, is it a Caprice or Impala? Like, why aren't you looking? You have no people. That's how lazy people are. Like, I'm not going to sit there and do the footwork. And then I sent him a video of, like, what the car, what I was about to do with it. You know what I mean? He's like, I'll pass. I'm like, you're a fucking fag, first of all. You're a douchebag. He is. He's a straight douchebag. You can tell just by the way he responded. And he asked me what kind of car it is when it says clearly in the description what car it is. Fucking morons, man. I'm telling you, today is not the day for today is not the day for me don't i'm telling you don't come around me you, you'll regret it i i vacuumed out the truck i'm about to pack it up i figure i'll show you guys before i pack it up it's getting dark too so i'll grab a flashlight i'm actually happy it's, it's actually i thought it was gonna be worse than it is that russ ain't that bad so i got i have if you speak properly, got is not necessarily a word, it's a slang word, but it's not proper English. You would say have instead of got. But, see, it's clean, man. This truck's solid. It's All I gotta do is patch this side right there and then get that fixed up, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have someone do it that actually will fab it up and do it up for me for a couple hundred bucks. Um, you know, in their garage or something, and, and do it proper, um, you know, and, and and show them their work, you know, show everyone their work, so, it does have a spot right here for, to cut out for the five speed, so, the NV3500 that I pick up, I gotta cut, I'm gonna cut exactly that shape right there, um, then the, the stick will come out up right here, and then I'm gonna build, I'm either going to use a Cadillac Escalade uh, metal console and customize it with a rubber boot and everything so that, you know, it looks like it would be stock. It came that way. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Which is funny is I actually had a backup key. This is the only vehicle that fucking I had a backup key when I lost my keys. So that's another reason why I'm kind of like keeping this truck. It's a sign. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, see right here, this is the Magnaflow exhaust I bought. That's a Magnaflow. It's actually a nice uh, sounding uh, muffler. Um, it's a three inch in to dual two and a half out. So it goes, I mentioned in another video, the truck, this truck is when I put that Corvette motor, the LS motor in it, see how it goes. That side crosses over and then it goes into a three inch right both of them go into a three inch which i have it going straight back to the three inch magna flow in dual two and a half out and i got i had the arabic guy in detroit fucking dump them out the side so you can i can piss everybody off going down the street and and make all the racket plus you know that you can hear it you know you go to the car shows and stuff you rev up the motor, you know, it's throwing the sound at them instead of out the back. So it's more, you know, people can hear it. And because because I went dual to three inch, straight back to two and a half out, it's more throaty. It's going to sound more like a truck, not a car, not a, you know, and that's what you want. That's what you need to do if you if you if you're not running a turbo or anything like that. And you're just running a stock, you know, like a, a V8. That's what you want. It will actually make the truck sound different than all the other Chevys. Because from my experience, every Chevy sounds the same. It doesn't matter what exhaust you put on it. It almost sounds the same until, until you start actually start messing with, you know, the system and start doing it different than everyone else. Doing different, you know, that's what I'm telling you. It will sound more throaty. So... Yeah, you know, I'm happy. Um, we got to push this. I got to load this up. This is based, I'm just 
throwing all my stuff in there, like my clothes, all my fucking, all my belongings, computer equipment, all that stuff, uh, my stereo equipment, you know, my pictures, my glass, my, you know, blankets, all that stuff for the most part. And the only thing I'm going to, that's going to be in here tomorrow is my furniture, which I have this listed, my bed listed, and I have my table listed, even though I don't want to sell it. My red cherry table, I don't want to sell it. I want to put it in the storage unit. I need to get this truck running, man. And I got to come up with money for that that place. So I got to find work. I got to come up with 20. I, I post, I, have a, I took a screenshot. I had to come up with 2,200 bucks. And then I'll have an office for six months I can work out of. I'm going to be on the street. Um, I'm going to be documenting everything. I'm about to head to Detroit this week. I'm going to be sleeping um, wherever I can find. I'm going to be going right to, uh, we're going to be just documenting the street life. I'm going to be talking to people on the street, all that stuff, backpacking. Um, and then I'm, I don't know exactly how this is going to work out yet until I find a job. Um, I might, it might be, might end up totally different than what I'm saying. Somebody might call me and say, Hey, I got work for you. Um, I have a few, I even put in a few applications. I might be working a job temporarily, um, somewhere and I might be, you know, getting like a little efficiency studio or something like that. Like I was, you know what I mean? When I was, when I first came home. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm working towards that way I can run a business, um, and work, you know, side hustle and work on the side. Um, so that's probably, I'm probably going to be on the street for about a week until everything kind of comes together. You know, I'm going to be hanging out at friend's house, asking people to crash at their, on their couch, that type of stuff. You got to be resourceful. Okay. I've done this many times traveling. I've traveled. Listen, I've traveled. I've, I'm going to show you guys how to do all this stuff. My cat and my cat's going to be with me too, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> She's doing good. She's uh, she's playing everything. She she tried to attack Bill. She uh, I was crying in the video on Facebook. Like I was upset, and Bill was over here, and uh, she tried to uh defend me and attack Bill. She fucking scratched him, bit him, all that shit. What you doing, girl? What you doing, honey? Mentora, tormenta. Baby girl, I love you. Yeah, she's uh she's loyal. She's a loyal caddy. And then I I might I'm probably gonna come back for Claw and snatch him up. Claw! Claw! I'm probably gonna snatch this cat up for sure. I just seen him about 15 minutes ago. Claw! There he is. Claw claw! You hungry? Hey. You hungry? I got some wet food for you. So I'm going to uh, pack up this truck. And we'll do Bible study. It's not going to take long to pack up this truck. I got to get it done. Uh, I'll see you guys in about an hour, two hours, something like that. I'm going to go feed this cat. I'll see you guys soon.